So we're on day two on the Whiskey Loot Countdown to Christmas Advent Calendar. And I've just been reading the write-up of what we're about to taste and it sounds like it's going to be an absolute beauty. So today we've got Karawa Distilling Co, which is the New South Wales, so another Australian whiskey. This isn't the Scottish Highlands, or their Lowlands, or their bloody Speyside. And you've probably figured out these cowboys aren't from the cornfields of Tennessee because this is Coral, New South Wales. And this is a story about the people who call it home. Dean met Bo on the footy field and hired him on the spot. After Tyler got in on the act, they bought a flour mill for a dollar. It was a full of pigeon shit. And turned it into a distillery. The barley comes from Dean's family farm and the water is sourced from the Murray River. Proper holy water, that. What? Uh, nothing, Father. The barrels are borrowed from vineyards near and far. And the whiskey is enjoyed by all. If the lads don't drink it first. Because while there's only two ingredients in truly great whiskey, it takes a town to bring them together. Coral whiskey, made here by us. So this one's New South Wales. And we're going to get some smoked bacon, um, and they've put in bonfire smoke as well. So, uh, sounds like it's right up my alley. Let's get into it and taste the cask strength, 61.8% matured in X French port cast cask. Smells amazing. I can't give you the technical word for it, but I'll just use amazing. It's definitely opening up. Can taste that little bit of smoke and bacon, which is extremely hard to replicate in other whiskies. All right. Well, I tell you what, they're off to a great start, this Whiskey Loot Advent Calendar. First one, I thought it'd be extremely hard to top. Second one, and um, I've never tasted the Corowa Distilling Co's whiskey before, but I tell you what, I'll be tasting more, and I'll be on to my mate Ryan pretty soon to get myself a bottle. Um, that is amazing. So, another Australian whiskey, off to a great start, and... Um, yeah, I'll sit here and probably finish the bottle. Catch you next time.